Hey, welcome back to the WP Tonic WordPress Basics course. My name's Kurt, and I've been working with you on showing you how to use a WP Tonic setup WordPress website with Cadence, Lifter LMS, and some marketing tools. We've just installed Lifter LMS into our website, and I want to give you a quick tour of what some of the menus and settings look like in Lifter LMS to get you started and off on the right foot. As we open up our screen share, you'll see that we're on the back end of our site and we're on the admin menu. And I just want to go over like what kind of menu items were added by Lifter LMS. Here we see Lifter LMS and in here is all the settings, dashboard, reporting, and forms, things that go with running Lifter LMS as a platform. Right below the Lifter LMS menu is courses. And inside the courses menu, you're going to see courses, add a course, different categories so you can separate your course material, difficulties, tags, tracks. Tracks are like when you have a series of courses that you want your student to complete, like a whole series of courses. That's called a course track, the individual lessons, and then of course, reviews that people might fill out about taking your courses. Next down is memberships because Lifter LMS also gives you the ability to manage your students and your members and create memberships where you're able to bundle courses together. Let's say you've got 10 courses on your website and maybe you've got five that are based on sales and five that are based on service. You could have a sales membership where you bundle five of those courses together and sell that membership so that you can help drive your revenue instead of selling the courses one at a time. Or you could have a, a membership that has all of the courses, or you could have a membership that doesn't have any courses, but you just sell the membership because you're giving access to maybe pro proprietary blog content or page content inside your website. And you're using the membership restrictions to keep people from seeing certain things unless they pay for it. So you, as you can see, Lifter LMS is incredibly flexible at helping you run your membership but also your course and learning side of your website. So we've got memberships. The next thing is engagements. Engagements is a way that Lifter LMS interacts with your students or your members to share things like emails or achievements or certificates because there are certificates available through the, uh, through the platform as well. And then you can look at all of the certificates that you have awarded previously. So if someone says, Hey, I lost my certificate. I need to get a new copy of it. You can always go back in, pull it out of the archives and send it to them. I want to take a quick look at Lifter LMS, the settings. So there is a dashboard and the dashboard is an overview. How many members, how many recent enrollments, things like that. And then there's settings. Settings to me is important to grab a look at because this is where kind of the core functionality of your Lifter LMS platform resides. So here at the top, we can see a vertical, I mean, a, a horizontal menu that says courses, memberships, counts, checkout, engagements, notifications, and integrations. If we take a look at this general is real simple courses gives us the information about the different courses that are on our website and how we want the course catalog to look memberships does a similar thing. And accounts is interesting because accounts also gives us the content that goes on our student dashboard. So if we scroll down, you'll see these are the details that are going to pop up on a student dashboard. And this is where we can edit those elements and customize our dashboard to more match our use case. So that's an important thing to know about accounts inside of settings. Checkout is where you set up your payment gateways or figure out how you want to charge people. To look at the content, there's engagements. Engagements is interesting because we have the engagements menu, but we also have the email settings and the particulars on how those engagements work. And again, that's connected to the engagement menu that you see over in the admin bar. Notifications is different than email notifications. This has email notification and screen notifications, like pop-up notifications, but this is like course complete. Someone enrolled in a new course. So let's take a look at someone enrolls in a new course. They get a notification on their screen. 
but they also get an email notification. And if you click on this, you're able to go in and customize that notification and you're able to add recipients. Say you want to share that with a parent or an instructor or someone else inside the website. You can add additional recipients to that and also share it with the author of that email notification. So that is an interesting thing to take a look at. Integrations is how we turn things and features on and off inside the platform. So if we were to add features like groups, advanced quizzes, WooCommerce, things like that, we would be able to toggle those on and off through this integrations screen. And then lastly, REST API. Not many users need to worry about the REST API, but Lifter LMS has a great API if you want to connect to third-party tools. And we can add an API, even on the free version of Lifter LMS, you can add it, you can put in a name right here, I'll say test, and then user would be me, permissions, and save. And then when we save that, it's going to add those API keys right here, the consumer key and the secret key. And now we can connect to almost any other third-party tool on the internet and integrate the activities of Lifter LMS that way for automations. So again, that's a little further than WordPress basics, but I wanted to let you know where that stuff was in case you were working with somebody that needed that. So real quickly, that is a look at the Lifter LMS menu items in the admin bar and the settings across the horizontal menu. I hope that helps. Talk to you soon.